Bitcoin's going to hit all-time highs this year. While 2020 has brought a lot of pain and strife in the world, it's about to be party time for those who invested in Bitcoin. And I'm going to tell you why we have evidence Bitcoin is setting up for the biggest bull run in history. Also, I've got a little tea to spill about one of my favorite projects you're definitely not going to want to miss, along with some altcoin news. Let's get it. What if I told you you could buy one token and make daily passive income from multiple dApps and crypto platforms? And what if that token only had a 20,000 max supply ever? I bet you'd buy it. I know I did. Check out powermind.club and tell them BitBoy sent you. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the hardest working channel in crypto. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and join both my Telegram groups to learn more about crypto or connect with me. All right, guys, we have another massive video today that you have to see if you are invested in Bitcoin. And let's face it, we are all invested in Bitcoin in one way or another. Even if you only care about altcoins, your action is still going to be dependent upon Bitcoin. But by the end of this video, you're going to understand why we are right on the cusp of an absolute breakout. Your next moves in the market could depend on the info you are about to learn. Now, the last time we saw a setup like this was honestly 2016. In 2016, Bitcoin was rumbling and people somehow missed all the signs. They got in too late after the explosion had already happened. But you are sitting in a crazy position right now as you are seeing the beginnings of something special and have the chance to act on it and become a legend of crypto. Today, we are going to be examining just how high Bitcoin should be able to get by the end of this year and why that's so important. We're then going to check out some altcoin news from my beloved IOST, and I'm going to tell you why some people want me to disappear from the IOST ecosystem. I'm going to tell you why I'm not going away and what people are saying about my involvement with IOST. And lastly, we got a bit of news from another big altcoin in the space, Phantom, you're not going to want to miss. But first, let's go ahead and check out Bitcoin. The price right now is currently hovering around $9,200, a 2% dip from yesterday. And as you can see, outside of stablecoin Tether, all the top coins dropped. This is most likely due to the stock market falling pretty significantly. We could dig deep into why the stock market fell, but honestly, I do not think another stock market crash is coming. This week, President Donald Trump signaled the return to normalcy as he declared states need to either start in-person school back or face government defunding. Now, whether or not that would hold up in court is a different issue, but regardless of cases and deaths rising in the United States, the president is trying to lead the economy back and reopen businesses and schools across the country. Now listen, you may not think the current spike in cases is a political scam. You may think it's all on the up and up. Personally, I don't. But listen, reopening may be bad for your grandma, but it is good for the economy. There's no question about it. People out of work struggling will lead to more disaster in this country and beyond than one out of every 16,000 people in the world dying. And yes, that's the actual percentage of deaths from this. And yes, that's even with the way overinflated numbers, people dying from the disease that had other diseases on top of it like you had in Italy. If I told you that you had a one out of 16,000 chance of winning a million dollars, pretty sure you wouldn't be too excited. If I told you that you had a 1 out of 16,000 chance of dying, then why would you be scared? I've said for a while the pandemic is a wild card in Bitcoin's bull run. It could be the thing that jinxes the whole entire run. I no longer believe that. Fact, cases and deaths in America are going up, and people aren't really flinching outside of people looking to oust the president from power, shows me that we are finding somewhat stable ground and a second crash is not on the way. But hey, the dinosaurs didn't see the asteroid. It came out of nowhere, so another disaster could happen. Of course, I just don't see it. That is, of course, if you believe dinosaurs are real in the first place. But I digress. So let's look to the future of Bitcoin, the near-term future. It's bearish YouTube sentiment day, so I'm feeling bullish. Here are some reasons why. Gold just hit a nine-year high. Pretty crazy when you look at where we were just a few short months ago. And as you know, Bitcoin is digital gold. Someone asked me about whether or not I think Bitcoin will destroy gold one day. I believe the answer to that question is no. I think having physical gold and digital gold creates healthy competition between the two. I think there will always be people who want to actually hold something in their hands, even if one day it's only for nostalgic purposes. But just how high can Bitcoin go this year? If gold met a new high, can Bitcoin do the same? According to the stock to flow chart, Bitcoin should be well above all-time highs, nestled somewhere in between $25,000 and $95,000. Now keep in mind, this chart's never wrong. As you can see, Bitcoin has followed a predictable course since its inception, according to this chart. And let me show you another mega bullish sign. People are doubting Bitcoin. 
Whenever people start doubting, it tends to do its best work. I mean, at the beginning of this year, there seemed to be virtually no hope, and then boom, we got a rally that blew people's socks off. Unless they were wearing sandals, then their socks may have stayed on. But the poll done here by the creator of the stock to flow chart, Plan B, shows 42.5% of crypto Twitter thinks Bitcoin won't hit $55,000 in 2021. It's unfathomable to believe that it flies in the face of history. Yet, because the bear market has been so brutal, it has had a tremendous psychological effect on investors. People are tired of the rolling hills of crypto, given up looking for the jump off point. I understand, it's exhausting. But historically, we are only now entering the time when Bitcoin rising is not only possible, but probable. For Bitcoin not to hit at least 55k next year, that means every historical model will be proven invalid. And I just don't think that's going to happen. The only question is, will you be on the right side of history? So let's move on and check out what is happening with IOST and the drama is rich. As you guys know, I run a node on the IOST network. The project has made quite a comeback over the last month, rising from almost out of the top 100 back up to around the mid 70s. To take part in the IOST network, all you gotta do is buy some IOST and stake it on a node. Why not mine? If you vote for my node, which currently has 33.5 million votes staked on it, you'll earn yourself about a 13% annual yield. But that's based on a contribution system to the IOST network. Basically, for people to get that 13% annual yield, I have to get what is called Tier 1, a ranking each quarter. It basically means I have to contribute on the top level of nodes in my category, which is content creation. Now, the initial tier rankings were released, and I'm Tier 1 again. I'm the only node in the entire ecosystem who has achieved a tier one ranking for literally all six quarters of the IOST mainnet's existence. I work hard to make sure that the people who vote for my node get their full rewards. I feel like IOST is getting ready for an epic run, so you may want to take part. This project's like a rubber band that has been stretched out and is now ready to slingshot gains in the direction of patient investors. Watch your eye. But here's the thing. This morning, the IOST team reached out to me and said, a lot of the lower ranked nodes, poor babies, were complaining about my tier one status. Oh, the jealous nerd syndrome. Side effects include whining, constant self-stimulation, and living in your mother's basement. Freaking pusses, I tell you. No one, literally no one in the entire IOST ecosystem provides a project with one-tenth of the exposure that I give it. Here's a snapshot of my IOST report, and you can see I brought in 192 thousand views to IOST content over the last quarter, not to mention my content highlighting PowerMine, a strong player in the IOST DeFi space. While other creators left the IOST node system and community completely, I'm the last one here. So either IOST themselves are playing mind games with me, or we have a bunch of jealous little biatches trying to downgrade what I do for this project and its community. And if either case is true, suck it. Oh, snap. But here is the beautiful thing about crypto. IOST is a decentralized open source project. So even though there are a bunch of grown men running around acting like a bunch of Karens, I will still keep keeping on with IOST because I do feel passionately that this project is going to take off and I have my reputation staked with it along with my money. So lastly, I want to talk about some news surrounding Phantom. This is a project we covered a while back that has actually been on a huge run over the last couple of months with a huge spike. It's had a bit of a pullback today, losing 11.65% and teetering on falling out of the top 200 after recently re-entering. If they do though, simply a correction from their massive run since the beginning of May. So let's check out a news story that shows the promise of this project and explains their recent meteoric rise and where it came from. Also, thank you to Phantom for sponsoring this segment. But if you look at the chart, you will see that there was a direct connection between this important story and their price spike. So you may want to pay attention. But here's the thing. We all know by this point that we can't trust the World Health Organization, right? Like, you may not agree with defunding them, but we can all agree the world pandemic has added a level of distrust when it comes to medical statistics. Well, one way they could possibly restore some of that lost trust is to solve a big problem the worldwide medical community has had, and that is counterfeit medicines and medical products. You may not know this, but 10% of all medicine in the world is substandard or fake. Not a shocker, in my opinion. Pandemic has certainly exposed a lot of issues with the medical field, but it is a big problem that needs a solution, and who better to solve that? Well, a blockchain company, of course. And this is where Phantom comes in. Phantom has now been approved in Afghanistan to tackle the problem of counterfeit medications. Phantom will now be tracking medicinal drugs and verifying their authenticity in the country. And the WHO's hope is that this tracking system could eventually be used in other countries or maybe worldwide. A huge win for medicine and a giant leap for Phantom. 
I mean, a project fulfilling its use case is basically like crypto nirvana, am I right? So big news for Phantom and a big thank you to them for supporting the channel. But now it's your turn. Where do you believe Bitcoin is heading to? Is it time to put more in or to be scared? Drop your comments down below. And what do you think about these faceless pansies trying to ride my cloud in the IOSD community? All I gotta say is they better not let me find out who they are. They will regret that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe to become a member of the Bit Squad. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. BitBoy out.